I was in a recent text-based debate with a person named James Thomas. During the debate, he said something that shocked me. He said, quote, the one thing scientists are sure of is that matter is not made of matter, unquote. I repeatedly asked him for proof of this statement, and he finally coughed up a video by a woman named Dolores from a channel called Cracking the Nutshell. This video is absolutely terrible in regards to proving the truth of James's claim, filled with non sequitur fallacies, wild speculation, and total nonsense. I freely admit I don't know how to pronounce this woman's name, but she might be Hispanic, so I will pronounce her name as Dolores. Anyway, Dolores tells us that matter has been dematerialized, which is another way of saying that matter doesn't exist or that matter is not made of matter. The first reason she gives to prove this claim is Einstein's mass energy equivalence. Dolores commits a non sequitur fallacy here. It does not logically follow that because there is no fundamental ontological division between matter and energy that matter doesn't exist. In fact, such a claim is plainly stupid since it is using the affirmation of matter to disprove the existence of matter. Dolores also uses wave-particle duality to support her position, but this is another non-sequitur fallacy. It does not logically follow that because the classical concepts of particles and waves cannot fully describe the behavior of quantum observables, that matter does not exist, or that matter has been dematerialized by quantum physics. Dolores says that atoms really are not much else than empty space. This is a tiresome quantum woo canard that means absolutely nothing as far as showing matter does not exist. All it means is that almost all the mass of an atom is concentrated in its nucleus and there is a non-zero probability of finding an electron anywhere in the space. Dolores puts forward the notion that quantum field theory also supports the claim that matter does not exist by saying that matter emerges from something that we can't even begin to comprehend even less describe. This is a misrepresentation of quantum field theory. QFT does not say that matter emerges from something that we cannot comprehend or describe. QFT treats particles as excited states of their underlying fields. Dolores also fundamentally misunderstands what quantum tunneling is, as she describes it as, quote, the so-called material particle simply disappears from one side of the wall and then magically reappears on the other side without having to physically cross the barrier, unquote. This is a juvenile and quantum woo mystic way of understanding quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is a quantum mechanical effect in which particles have a finite probability of crossing an energy barrier, such as the energy needed to break a bond with another particle, even though the particle's energy is less than the energy barrier. That's it. There is no magical situation involved. It is simply the result of a quantum object's wave-particle duality and the ability of quantum observables to, so to speak, borrow energy from the surrounding and give it back by making the reflected electrons more energetic. At the end of the video, Dolores starts taking whatever the hell she wants and using it to advance her thesis, regardless of whether she can honestly do so, coming across the strategy of throwing as much crap as she can against the wall to see if any of it sticks as she brings up dark matter and dark energy, which is obviously stupid since dark matter and dark energy are both physical phenomena. Then Dolores dishonestly brings up string theory as something that supports her claim that matter has been dematerialized. I say this is dishonest because string theory is not proven, it's not a scientific fact, and of course, it's still very much speculative. Thanks for watching.